Hi, we're at the Colombo airport. First of all, our flight turned out to be one hour earlier, which is crazy in my opinion. We had to land in Kuala Lumpur around 7 in the morning, then to have a boarding to Yangon around 9 in the morning, but now it turns out that we're gonna board to Yangon around 9 in the evening, not in the morning, which is also crazy, don't you think? 12 hours difference. It's two minutes past midnight. Our flight is after eight minutes. And as you can see, we're not gonna catch it. The third party we used to book our flight are scammers. They send you this confirmation email, right? In which it says that you have one piece of luggage for free. So when we came here, the assistant told us, okay, it's 30 kilos, so it's 4,600 rupees per kilo. And from this point, we had to explain and show them that it says that we have free luggage. Then they told us that they don't work with this third party, so what they say, it's none of their business, basically. We tried to contact Bravo Fly. This is the name of this uh, awesome third party company. No matter how hard we tried to contact them by phone, by email, by uh, direct message, nothing happens, nothing works. They don't have customer service. Or when you try to call them, they hang up on you, which is amazing. We just paid uh, 250 euros and we're not going to Myanmar, we're not going anywhere. We opened their Facebook page, they actually have the worst reviews, they have one point out of five in Facebook, everyone's commenting how their service is the worst, how some people go on a flight, the flight was changed and they actually arrive in a different country they, they expected, and this was all on the internet, and we didn't see it. Life is amazing right now. Hi there, we're on the highway right now. It's two o'clock in the morning. We've been traveling all day to the airport just to get pissed off and miss our flight. Uh, now we are heading to the center of Colombo in searching for hotels. So what else? Yes, we were scammed. We missed our flight. Most probably we won't get a refund, but we'll do our best to get one. Now we are losing money because we have to pay for Uber, we have to pay for hotel, we have to pay for a new flight to Myanmar because we already have visas, so we have to go there. I mean, we want to go anyway. So, yes, basically we just want to go somewhere and take a nice sleep because we've been traveling all day. We are super tired, super pissed off. But maybe that was supposed to happen, who knows? Yeah, we'll think about it tomorrow. Sometimes life is just super surprising and awesome. Hello, <laughs> come, come to the middle. Come, come to, the, to middle. the video. Come to the middle. Hi. Hi. Many, many thanks to the best Uber driver. He, he found us the best room with the best view. So we're gonna sleep here <laughs> and the sea is just right behind us. All right, cheers. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome. We really appreciate it. Okay, guys, this what is... What else we have to say for this night? This is our first official homeless night since we started traveling because, you know, we tried to search for a hotel. Everything was super expensive and it's three o'clock right now. So we decided it's just better to wait for the sunrise and skip to pay for one night because it's not like we already lost so much money yes. with this flight we can see the ocean tomorrow morning what else what else do we need michi okay it's been one hour and a half of our homeless jo <laughs> journey we saw a rat we found an airbnb with a washing machine wi-fi good morning good morning, good morning. People are so kind. People are very kind. We are waiting for the host response if he can 
uh, host us after or we're gonna pay, pay him so I guess there won't be any problems but we still have to wait for him to wake up and tell us the exact address because we don't know it no we know it we know the address we know the address we can go and scream maybe let's just go there yeah let's hope he's not a sleepy head because we're kind of sleepy we've been traveling the whole day and now we're not in Malaysia not in Malaysia we were supposed <laughs> to be on our connection flight in Malaysia right now we don't know if we're gonna get our money back oh and actually neither we know if the borders are not gonna be closed because of coronavirus which is spreading like crazy all over the world we have absolutely no clue what is gonna happen there are some coconuts here but unfortunately the size of our knife is uh, quite funny so i don't think we can open it uh, at least we still have uh, 100 milliliters of water <laughs> and some battery on the phones like shan danuka 28 years old tuk tuk driver not married, no kids, currently partying, right? right. Party person. <laughs> Great. Happy life. So you, you say you marry, you get married uh, after, but after what? After party? After 30 years. The party goes on until 30. Hello and good morning once again. Where are we? Good morning. So it's 8.30. We just had some fresh juices for breakfast and now we are waiting for an omelette <laughs> that we ordered. Uh, I still haven't slept from 24 hours. Uh, we are waiting for our Airbnb host to reply to our request. Yes, I'm really eager to receive this approval from him so we can just go and take a shower and go to bed. That would be really nice. That's the life of a backpacker sometimes. So this is the place where we spend the night. And now since it's 9 a.m. and we still don't have an answer from our host, we just decided that maybe we should move to the beach and just lay on the sand and maybe sleep, especially I. So let's move to the beach. Ha! There's no beach! <laughs> and there is no sand. Oh, amazing night. Amazing. Guys, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. What's the time now? <clears throat> 11.41 and this is the time when we entered our room <sighs> finally we had to pay a lot for just for one night but <clears throat> right now I, I don't give a f about the money I just want to sleep because I haven't slept from yesterday so our host from Airbnb we, we had to wait for him until 10 o'clock just to tell us that due to the coronavirus they stopped accepting guests anymore isn't that amazing and now somehow we we walked almost half an hour under the heat with the backpacks i mean we were gonna collapse on the street and we finally found a hotel for one night so we are going to bed immediately after we take a shower and we'll see what are we gonna do tomorrow because we either have to buy 
plane tickets to Myanmar despite the fact that they're closing borders every two hours everywhere around the world so we don't have any idea if even if we buy tickets if we're gonna be allowed to enter the country we cannot afford to throw away a second pair of tickets but we're also not allowed to stay in Sri Lanka because our visa is finishing in five days yeah in five days our visa is expiring so we either have to extend our visas and lock ourselves somewhere without making much of a contact with people because this coronavirus obviously is getting crazy in the recent days absolutely crazy i didn't expect this to happen in anyways we have visas for myanmar so we can buy new tickets for monday today's friday actually today's friday the 13th well surprise i mean i always underestimated this date and today we had the <laughs> i mean i don't know how to call this last 24 hours it was just like like we did something very wrong and now the karma is is giving back to us anyways we're here i'm tired of uh, talking i'm going to take a shower and going to bed so see you i don't know when where but see you we got the sleep we got the shower now we need to take some action don't come with me <laughs> yeah we're going to the police station to see what can they give us as an advice about the Myanmar flight we are planning to book again and also if they can do something about uh, our last tickets and the scam we were involved in actually the flights right now to Myanmar are so expensive that this might be another reason why we stay in Sri Lanka I don't know at least for some time and in this case we need to extend our visas <laughs> so if that's right. If, if we're gonna do this, there's no Bulgarian embassy in Sri Lanka, so I don't know how this even is supposed to Me happen. Neither. We are at the police station for the last three hours, even more. We made a complaint. There is a light of hope. Thanks to the help of the police officers, we managed to contact Malindu Air. An official of Malindu Air called us on our go and told us that he is going to do everything he can to arrange us free of charge tickets to Myanmar on Monday and that we have to pay only for the luggage which is way more acceptable than buying new tickets by ourselves so we're waiting <laughs> We got, we got so lucky. The police officers for tourist police division in Colombo were extremely helpful. And now we have free of charge tickets to Myanmar. Otherwise we had to pay something like uh, $400 for the new flight tickets. So now we have free tickets and we just paid for the bags. And in two days we will do a second try to enter Myanmar. How exciting! Okay, this is supposed to be our last night in Colombo for a second time. Ooh. Our last dinner in Colombo is very promising. A veggie plate with paneer and olive bread. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> and the view of Colombo
we just landed in Malaysia after a very rough flight. We have a couple of hours here before our connection flight to Yangon. Welcome to Myanmar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>